Hey, booze! Come talk to me! We got 11 11 on the clock, so make a wish or whatever. Hey, y'all! Come talk to me! I gotta tell y'all a little something. Hey, hey, good morning, heart me up or whatever, y'all gotta excuse me, y'all caught me in the middle of a groove, hey y'all, Hey y'all, good morning. So today we are talking about six negative stories that we tell ourselves. Why not lie to go best though? So guess what, y'all? I came on at eleven eleven, so y'all gotta make a wish. Good morning. Heart me up or whatever. Hey everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. What we going to make it? So we going to make it a teachable Tuesday. Hey, Boozer. So this is my new jam. Just because I love you and you love me doesn't mean we're meant to be together now, Booski. Hey, y'all. How y'all feeling on a Tuesday or whatever? We got Mel Gunner in the house. Hey, boo. Gwenda. We got Gwenda. You know how some stuff, it just feel good when it rub off, run off your tongue? Gwenda. Hey, Gwenda. Hey, everybody. I see the likes. I see the hearts. Heart me up or whatever. Hey, Mr. Stone. Who else we got in here? We got Gwenda. Uh, we got we got Mr. Montgomery. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We making it a teachable Tuesday. Or whatever. How y'all feeling? Let me know what's up. Hey, boo. Mr. Davis, you know what? Mm. Hey, Mr. Davis. Yo, you about to give my Facebook husband a little run for his mentee. Hi, boo. First and foremost, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, hurt me up or whatever. Yo, they fighting for spots out here. They fighting for spots out here. Yes, you better heart me up. Hey, hey, Mr. Stone. Hey, Miss Tori. One of the loves of my life. You are my heart. How are you? How are you? Tell me all about it. Hey, Danny. Hey, Washington. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, everybody. Can y'all see me good? I hope so. Hey, y'all. So, today we are talking about you're at treatment. Oh, okay. So, I am wishing you love and light, right? Um, I'm keeping you in my prayers. I'm sending healing. Um, I'm sending love, right? Unconditional love. Um, and oh my God, I'm I'm sending I'm sending light, right? Um, the highest light, right? Um, God's light, um, His healing um, to just to just wrap you, right? To wrap you in His arms of love, right? We pray for. Um, a speedy recovery, right? We pray that you will be a miracle and a testimony, right? 
right? And then uh, God is going to heal you, and then he is going to use you to heal others, right? And I can't wait. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited about your life, right? I'm excited about your testimony and um, all that God has done, right? I am excited that you are a survivor, right? I'm excited about that. Um, so, yeah, so I'm also excited about all the things that God is going to do through you um, and in your life and how he's going to use you to um, heal others because you are just like a warrior queen. And I love you so much. So, hey, you guys. So, today we're going to talk about um, six negative stories that we tell ourselves, right? So, a lot of times... Um, we get caught up in negative ways of thinking, right? And our negative ways of thinking is really like stinking thinking, right? So I'm going to run through these really, really fast. And we'll like we'll refer back to these in the uh, future, okay? So, all right. So the first uh, negative story that we tend to tell ourselves. So these are things that like no matter what it is that we're going through in life, right? These are just like... If we don't recognize them, these are like subconscious stories that we tell ourselves, right? No matter what, right? So we got to get a hold of this um, this thinking, right? Because the more positive we think, right? The more positivity we create, right? So we have to create positivity through the things, through our thoughts first, right? And then our thoughts um, begin to create our reality, right? But if we have negative thoughts then those negative thoughts are going to continue to perpetuate in our reality, right? They're going to continue to show up, right? So we got to really get a hold on our stinking thinking, right? So we have a better way of thinking, and we are uh, creating and manifesting the things that we want to see in our lives, right? Not continue to um, repeat the same cycles and continue to manifest the same negative things in our lives, right? So we're going to get a hold of our thinking. So these are six major stories that we tend to tell ourselves. And um, those of you that have been with me for a while, we know that um, our thought patterns and our decision making, all of those things are formulated in childhood, right? Because we come here as like a clean slate, right? And then the things that we learn in our childhood is what shapes our um ways of thinking, our behavior, our behavior patterns, all of those good things, all right? So, so the first story that we tell ourselves is the abandonment story, right? So how many of us tell ourselves that people are cold in this world and that um, people don't really, they don't really care about me, they don't really got my best interest at heart, right? And this could be, um, this comes from growing up and people were cold to you. They were critical, right? So ways that that shows up in our lives is that we are always on guard. We're always on guard. We're always guarded. We always think that anything that is good for me is going to go away. Anything that I love is going to leave and go away, right? So um, we tend to be very guarded. So ways that we can combat that is finding ways to be vulnerable, right? Right. Um, and ways that we can be, one of the ways that we can be vulnerable is through conversation, right? So there's ways to create vulnerability through conversation, all right? So number one, we got to stop telling ourselves the abandonment story, which says that people are always um, out to get me and people are not out for my best interest, Right. Number two, the dependency story, right? So, if we weren't told when we were young that the things that we did, like we were able to make our own decisions, and that um, we were good at the decisions that we made, we we <laughs> we developed the dependency story, and the dependency story says that. I need other people to be successful, right? The dependency story also says, um, I can't do things on my own. Um, life is too overwhelming for me to do it by myself, right? It says, I can't be by myself, right? So ways to combat that is um, taking little steps in your life to become more independent, right? Become more independent and realize that you can. You can and you are able, right? So that is number two. Number three, 
is a story that I know a lot of us tell ourselves, and this is the story that says that I am unlovable, I'm flawed, I'm not good enough, right? And that comes from not having parents that were positive, right? Or people who put negative things onto you, right? So they had a negative way of seeing themselves, and they in turn put that negativity onto you, right? And the ways that you know that it came from somebody else is whenever you're thinking these things to yourself, like, I'm unlovable, I'm not worthy, I'm not enough, ask yourself, like, how, whose voice am I hearing? Like, when I'm hearing those words, like, whose voice am I hearing in my head that's telling me those things, all right? So ways of us being able to combat that is to get a hold of our stinking thinking, right? So talking to positive people, um, using affirmations, um, saying positive things to yourself every morning, always feeding yourself positivity, things of that nature, because you have to construct that thinking, stinking thinking, okay? Um, a lot of times that's what causes us to get in relationships that... Um, that don't really serve us because when we see something that does serve us and it's good for us we think that we're not worthy right all right so we got to get rid of that all right so on to number four so number four is not feeling like you are um connected right feeling always feeling like distance between yourself and other people right um, and that comes from, like, not being able to see that, like, you do have similarities to other people. Like, you magnify the differences between yourself versus magnifying the things that you have that are similar to that particular person, right? So, um, then, once we do that, we, um, it's crazy. Because <laughs> it's like, once we do that, we start to be like, well, you know what? Like, I'm this, and they're that, and you know what? That's a deal breaker, Right? We have to get over that thinking, thinking, right? So ways to get over that is to become more connected to people. Practice um, connecting to people through conversation, social gatherings. It may be baby steps, right? But little by little, like, you want to stop isolating yourself, right? And stop telling yourself that, like, you're so disconnected and you're so different from people, okay? All right, so number five. This one is the... Uh, distrust story right this one says that like people are not trustworthy in this world like right um people aren't loyal um people are not going to be there for me at the end of the day and with that story a lot of times it's a self-fulfilling prophecy so guess what we tell ourselves that and then what do we do we continue to pick people they continue to reinforce that story over and over again. It's the false self-fulfilling prophecy. So ways that you can combat that is um, start to magnify the things that people do, like in your relationships that are trustworthy. Even And guess what, guys? Everything is baby steps, right? So even if it's something as small as like they actually call back when they said they were going to call back, right? Or they actually did what they said they were going to do. You know, like start re counting in your mind times that people were trustworthy right all right so that's number five and then number six is the failure story the failure story is a story that we tell ourselves that like i'm going to be a failure what if people don't um appreciate me for who i am what if they don't like me once they realize who i really really am that's the failure story right and that comes from people um, when we were raised, they were super critical of us, right? They made us feel like we couldn't do anything. They weren't positive. They weren't encouraging, right? So ways of us um, getting over that is to remind ourselves of more self-love, right? Because that failure story creates self-sabotage. So start getting more into yourself, realizing who it is that you are, more self-love behavior, the love that you want to receive from other people, start pouring that love inward onto yourself, right? All right, you guys. So that's all I got for you guys. So today we talked about the six negative stories that we tell ourselves, right? And those negative stories keep us trapped in a negative way of thinking, right? And that stinking thinking only creates more of what it is that we don't want, right? So we got to think more positively, right? Because our thoughts create our realities, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. So I love you guys. I hope you are having a wonderful and an amazing Tuesday. We're going to dime it up. Uh, 
Teachable Tuesday, right? So I love you guys so very, very much. I will see you wonderful, beautiful, gifted, and amazing people on tomorrow for the hump day edition. If you like what it is that I had to say, share the video. All right. I love you guys. Peace.